Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So on today's episode, I am going to take you through the step-by-step -step process you need to book for your emergency appointment. I have seen that a lot of you make so many mistakes when it comes to requesting for an emergency appointment. And that is why I am making this video to help you out. My name is Alfred Apia and I am a student at the Columbia Theological Seminary. On this channel, I talk about everything VESA. If you want to study abroad, this is the right channel for you, especially if you want to study in the US. I have a lot of videos that will help you throughout your VESA application process and your school application process. Please, if you are new here, consider subscribing, like the video and share so that others can also benefit from it. I want to let you know that I also have a WhatsApp platform where we provide readily assistance 24 seven to support people like you and to answer all your questions. On the platform is a community of people who are in the process like yourself, people who have also gone through the process and have gotten their visas and people who are now going through the process so that you will not feel alone. Make sure you check the video description section to join the WhatsApp page where you can get a lot of help. Now, let's get right into the video. So, before you apply for an emergency appointment, you must first have a regular date. What it means is that after you have paid for your visa fee and you have gone into the system to book for your appointment, make sure you take any available date. If there is 2024, 2023, whatever date, make sure you take it. Because without a regular date, you cannot request for emergency appointment. You must also know that you are entitled to only one emergency appointment request. What it means is that when you apply for an emergency appointment and you are refused, you cannot reapply again. You lose your chance of reapplying. If you want to reapply after you have been denied an emergency request, then it means you have to be willing to forfeit your current appointment and your current visa fee. You cancel it, you go back and pay a new visa fee to come and schedule another ordinary appointment again, which I don't think worth, worth the money and worth your time. So make sure before you apply for the emergency appointment, you do things right. You make sure that you are on the right path. Let's get onto the computer and show you how to apply for your emergency appointment. Okay, so to book for an emergency appointment, the first thing you need to do is log in into your accounts from the U.S. Embassy website from the country you are applying from. So the first thing is you enter your email address here, then you enter your password. It will take you to your application dashboard. So this is where you can see your current appointment. You can see the opportunity to reschedule an appointment. So when you come to reschedule appointment, so I submit. So these are dates available that I can reschedule. You could see that some of these dates are not helpful for me. So what I will have to do is that I will come to emergency request. Now, we are going to see the general emergency request instruction. Who can request for an emergency? So we are not interested in medical emergency. We are not interested in funeral. We are interested in student and exchange services. This is what we are interested in. So for us to be sure, let us see what we need to request for an emergency. You must make sure that you meet this criteria before you continue with your emergency request. This is what it says. Purpose of travel. Let me zoom it and see. Good. So purpose of travel is to begin or resume a valid program of study in the United States within 60 days. Good. So note this, within 60 days, when no regular visa appointments are available. This option is limited only to students and exchange students who are within 60 days of their start date. It is important to pay attention to this criteria. It depends on the, on, on, on the embassy you are applying to. So make sure you check it, you read it well. What it means is that 
before you apply for emergency, you must show that within 60 days to your start date, you have not been able to secure a favorable date. So when you apply uh, beyond the 60 days, it can go against you. This is the general requirement. Make sure you are aware of it. It is also limited only it is also limited only to applicants who have not been refused a U.S. visa within the last six months at either the embassy in Abuja or the embassy in Lagos. So this is the requirement for people in Nigeria. People in Ghana, for example, have different requirements. People in India have different requirements. So make sure that you check. What it means is that if you have been refused a visa in the last six months, for example, in January, in February, you were received, you were, you were denied a visa, you are not eligible to apply for emergency. So make sure you check that. Now, after that is done, let's look at what you need, the essential document. You need original form I-20. So you need your I-20, which will indicate that indeed your program start date is within 60 days. You need your I-20. Then you need evidence that you have paid the service fee when applicable. So, for example, in Nigeria Embassy, you have to show that you have you have paid your service fee to request for an emergency. In some embassies, that is not a requirement. But make sure, as I said, to check on the requirement of your embassy. And that you can find it when you log in and when you go to the emergency uh, uh, appointment uh, button. Like I did, everything will be there for you to see. Good. So the first available date will be, so this is the date they are giving you. If you are requesting for emergency now, the first available date is on, uh, Mar is it May? Yes, it's on May 3rd. So assuming you put in your emergency now, you are within the 60 days and you put in the emergency and you are approved, it is likely that you may get 3rd May for your interview. That is good news. So let's go straight to how to apply for the emergency. So to apply for the emergency, you click here, right? Good. Now this space will open for you. This space will open for you to apply for the emergency. So this is where you input the tentative travel dates, then reason for the emergency, right? So if it's a student, you take in student. So tentative travel dates, you can take today's dates or you can uh, type in the dates you are expecting to travel, right? Now, that is very, very important. Now, brief explanation of emergency. This is the most important uh, thing. This is where you are going to explain why they should grant you an emergency, why they should grant you your request. So make sure that here, you write as if you are writing an email, you write officially, you write respectfully, and make sure that whatever you write is clear, concise, and easy to read. Make sure that you don't make grammatical errors and make sure that you, you, you write in a respectfully. So let's see a sample that I did, right? So dear sir or madam, you don't know the person, so it is better to, to be open, right? My name is Dododo. I write to request for an expedited appointment for my F1 visa interview. I have been admitted to the University of Fendley in Ohio to pursue my master's in business administration starting from the fall 2022 term. My school start date is 12 August 2022, but my current appointment is scheduled on 15th December 2023, which will which will be, yes, which will be over four months ahead. Which will be over four months ahead of my start date for school. In this regard, I would be glad if you could approve my application for an expedited appointment to enable me to attend my interview before my school start date. I have attached a copy of my I-20 for your perusal. Thank you, yours faithfully. You put in your name and you sign. Now, when you come down, this is where you are going to attach your I-20. You are going to attach your service fee payments. 
and any other document you think you will need. The I-20 and service fee payment is enough. You can even attach your visa fee payment as well. And after you are done, you click on submit and you apply for the emergency. You wait for the approval or the denial. As simple as that. I hope you like the video. Please consider subscribing and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much and always remember that theology is fine.